And the Cooper River Bridge Run benefits local charities as runners and sponsors both contribute. News 2's Forrest Tucker spoke to one Charleston charity that's getting some help. While all eyes are on the race over the Ravenel on Saturday, 10 charities in the low country will be waiting to see how much we raise to give them a helping hand. We weren't able to have this, um, you know, honestly in the past two years. Appreciation for an event making its return after a two year hiatus. But the Cooper River Bridge Run is more than a race, but a fundraising effort that impacts local charities like pet helpers. Um, we've had people fundraise and work really hard to, you know, get their community rallied around them running this race and trying to raise as much money as they could. And it's just amazing because it all goes back to our cause. The partnership continuing between the charity and the bridge run. Other good causes in the low country, like the Alzheimer's Association and Thrive SC, also have runners raising money for them. Yeah, we have a number of charities and uh, they will get, uh, we'll get a check after uh, the end of the race with uh, proceeds. Part of the proceeds go towards each of the charities. The goal is to raise $100,000 for the charities combined. We've got, of course, all the registrants, partial, uh, part of their uh, registration fee goes, and then all of our sponsors, you know, also, uh, you know, pitch in. For pet helpers who have been at max capacity for much of the summer, the money from the bridge run will be used to get some of those 150 animals in their care emergency medical treatment. Like a lot of times these animals come in with major health issues. We're talking heartworms, we're, um, there's shots that need to be taken care of, they need to be spayed or neutered. Other charities that will receive donations are the Ronald McDonald House, Special Olympics South Carolina, and the American Cancer Society. Reporting in Mount Pleasant, I'm Forrest Tucker. Count on two.